This video will show you how to improve the readability of your writing using HemingwayApp.com. We know there are some controversies around the use of the flesh reading ease and the flesh Kincaid grade level measurements of readability, but there are some simple things that we can do to improve the readability of our writing. Let's give it a go. Open in front of me is the website HemingwayApp.com and this is the place where you will copy and paste your text. Now this is some sample text, text that you'll find when you open the website just to explain to you what's being measured. So the, the yellow highlights are the there's 11 sentences that is hard to read. One of 11 sentences that is hard to read. Um, the red is sentences very hard to read. The purple are complex phrases or phrases, phrases that has an uh, al easy alternative. For example, utilize versus use. The green is the passive voice and the blue is the adverbs, which can be either omitted or replaced. So I'm going to copy and paste some of the text from a, an introduction and of a paper that we've submitted. It's on the single leg squat. I'm going to remove this text and I'm going to replace it with my own. Now you can see how many sentences difficult to read are out here. Now it, it needs a human brain, so it needs some consideration and review of the sentence structure to see if it's really that difficult or is there a way to change it or if you're going to leave it as is. But this website is definitely helpful to identify potential sentences that where people potentially will struggle um, in reading it. Uh, quite a few passive voice. I'm really trying hard to, to write in active voice, but you'll see I'm very guilty here. Um, something that I can omit. I show a number of unique biomechanical characteristics. Um, and it's suggesting to many unique biomechanical characteristics or some unique biomechanical characteristics that I can replace it with. And then there's the word that I can omit, for example, an overall impression. And I need to consider, do I want to omit this word or do I want to, want to keep it? Um, some adverbs that need some attention are largely unknown. Another adverb that I can consider omitting. Um, does it help if I say it's largely unknown or can I just say it's unknown? So I hope this helped. It's really a lovely website to play around with. Definitely worth copying and pasting your precious content into before you submit that grant proposal, before you submit that paper for publication. You know that time would, um, that comes when you can't even see your own mistakes anymore. Ideal. Hope it helps. Enjoy writing that paper or that grant proposal. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.